Celine Dion recently gave birth to twin babies as a result of six cycles of in vitro fertilization. She's 42 years old, well past the optimal age for a natural pregnancy. It's unusual for a celebrity to speak openly about seeking fertility help, even more so because Dion admitted the physical and emotional toll of her three-year odyssey to become pregnant. She said, it left me bruised and numb. What she didn't talk about was the large financial commitment. Why would she? She can afford it. Celebrities make older pregnancies look simple in the same way they make weight loss, divorce, and single motherhood look easy breezy. That couldn't be further from the truth, yet IVF is a topic that is shrouded in mystery and misinformation until you step into the fertility clinic and the reality begins to dawn on you. IVF costs up to $10,000 per cycle, and it generally takes three or more for a pregnancy to occur. This doesn't include the cost of consultations, drugs, and aftercare. Bruised and numb indeed, the body, the emotions, and the bank balance. This summer, the Quebec government began covering the cost of three cycles of single embryo implantation. This is to cut down on the chance of multiple births. It expects to then save money because babies and mothers will require less postpartum medical care. The funding, which Ontario is looking into, is a step in the right direction because it'll give families a chance to begin the process with realistic expectations of the procedure and its success. Then if it doesn't work, they can decide whether or not to continue with their own money. But there's one catch to the Quebec funding. It hasn't set an age restriction. The incontrovertible truth about fertility is that the ideal window is 20 to 34. After the age of 35, a woman's chances of becoming naturally pregnant begins to drastically decline, and after 40, it just about ends. If you suddenly find yourself at, say, 45, having somehow forgotten to have children, not even the miracle of technology can really help you. In 2009, the Canadian Fertility and Andrology Society reported a 26% live birth rate for 35 to 38-year-olds, and over the age of 40, a dismal 11%. Those stats are pretty bleak, but they're not new, so why don't some of us believe them? Coming of age under the glow of second-wave feminism, I thought I had plenty of time to build a career and then create a family. It's only recently I've had a rude and heartbreaking awakening. Given that the odds are heavily against me, I don't expect governments and taxpayers to help me rectify my error in judgment. Isn't it time to stop holding famous older mothers up as the examples that it can still happen when most of them are unwilling to admit they've used IVF in the first place? Regular families simply don't have the money or time for multiple treatments and prolonged efforts, nor can they travel the world as Celine Dion did to find the best acupuncturist to enhance her chances. If we truly want to have it all, we simply have to start earlier. I certainly wish I had. For The Agenda with Steve Pakin, I'm Carla Lucetta.